सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मैक्सिमम पावर ट्रांसफर थियरम द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई हैव टोल्ड यू राइट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट आई हैव टोल्ड यू द स्टेटमेंट एंड प्रूफ ऑफ दैट दैट इज सफिशियंट बिकॉज दैट वुड बी कमिंग फिक्सड बट आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट वेदर द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू मैक्सिमम पावर ट्रांसफर इज गोइंग टू कम आउट नॉट बट इन केस इफ इट कम्स the problems are here uh, very easy uh, easily you can solve it if you, you, you know the condition of maximum power transfer that is r should be equal to rl and the maximum power p max formula is vth square divided by 4 rl right this much things if you know if you know that it is uh, well and enough because the problems are not uh, that repeated but in case if it is asked because this is the backlog paper and there are chances of this question getting asked so that's why the problems related to maximum power transfer there are two problems in this session i'm going to solve okay that uh, let us solve it very easy problems okay so this is the first question for circuit shown what should be the value of r such that maximum power transfer can take place from the rest of the network to r obtain the amount of this power okay This is the question here. In the in this, they have asked us to find this value of R. Okay, we can say that R equal to R L in this case. So here they have asked us to find the value of load resistance only. This is the load resistance. Okay, and such that maximum power transfer can take place. Okay, that is P max can take place with this condition. We know that in order to take the maximum power, you should be satisfying this condition. So that's why this R would be equal to R L from the net rest of the network. From this terminals A and B, obtain the amount of this power. That is, of this amount, maximum power amount also we should be obtaining. So our goal is to find the value of R as well as maximum power. So now here in this case, calculation of R equivalent we should do. Okay, or we can say R equivalent is equal to R. Whatever the value of R equivalent we get, that would be equal to R. Okay. So in order to do the calculation of R equivalent, that same as Thevenin's theorem, which I have told, we should be eliminating all the current and voltage sources. So this is the current source branch. In whenever we want to eliminate current source, the whole branch is open circuited. So this whole branch should be going. And whenever we want to eliminate the voltage source, this should be short circuit. Oh, okay. And this is the load part. This is equal to R L. So I have mentioned it here. So this also would be removed. So we would be left with two ohm resistor. We don't have any resistor. We have removed it. This is five ohm. Along with that, we have one ten ohm, and this is short circuit here, and this is open circuit. So this is two ohm, five ohm, ten ohm. So here we should be finding the equivalent R R equivalent. So we can see that these two are in parallel. That is ten into five divided by ten plus five. Plus when these two are converted to parallel it would be coming equivalent and these two would be in series so that's why i am writing plus 2 here directly so 10 phi is a 50 divided by 15 plus 2 that is phi 3 is a phi 10 is a that is 10 by 3 plus 2 you take the lcm multiply 3 to the 6 by 3 that is equal to 16 by 3 so if we solve this 16 by 3 the value of r equivalent would be getting it as 5.33 ohms. Okay, you can check it. 5.33 ohms. Okay, we know that R equivalent is equal to R, so that's why our value of R we will be getting it as 5.33 ohms. Okay, we have got the value of R here. Now our next job is to find the maximum power. For that, we we know that P max is equal to V T H square divided by 4 times R. Okay. Four times R because R equal to R L, right? Actual formula is four R L. So whatever R we have already found out. Our goal is to find the V T H. That is the Thevenin's voltage, right? So we should be solving this circuit according to the Thevenin's theorem now. What we should be doing? We should be removing this load here, and this all the rest of the other part. Um, um, we are going to keep it as it is and solving for Thevenin's uh, circuit. Okay, that one part is there. Let us do that. So here I've written here. Here we would be having our seven in voltage. That is V A B equal to V T H, right? So our first thing is we should be writing the V T H equation. That is we should be tracing it from V to A. I'm sorry, B to A, right? That is 
here if you check it from here this is the opposite direction here we are moving in this direction so this is opposite so we would be getting 5 into the loop current i2 plus 2 into the loop current i1 but i1 in this case since we already have one current source here so we can write i1 is equal to 5 ampere right so that is 2 into i1 so 5 i2 plus 2 into 5 so vth is equal to 5 i2 plus 10 okay so you have got this equation now we should be finding the i2 current so that is we should be applying kvl on loop 2 here okay in order to find i2 we should be applying the loop i2 kvl right so loop i2 apply kvl that is start from this 5 ohm resistor only minus 5 i2 minus 10 i2 minus 24 equal to 0 so minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 i2 is equal to bring this 24 to other side that would be 24 so i2 is equal to minus 24 by 15 if you solve it i2 we will be getting around minus 1.6 ampere okay you can check it later so this is the value of i2 substitute back in this equation so vth would be equal to 5 into minus 1.6 plus 10 so that is equal to 1.6 into 5 that is uh, One point six into five, eight. So minus eight plus ten. So VTH is ten minus eight is two volt. So this is the VTH voltage. Okay. So nothing much to do. Now we should be substituting in the maximum power. They have asked us to find the power, right? V VTH square divided by four RL, which I have already found since RL is equal to R, and R value we have already found out that is five point three three ohm. So that is equal to VTH square. That is two square divided by 4 into 5.33 so 2 square is 4 and 4 we have in the demand so these two would be getting cancelled so 1 divided by 5.33 p max 1 divided by 5.33 we would be getting it around 0.187 watt so this is the maximum power okay so in this way we are going to solve this problem very easy problem hope this problem is clear to you all okay so that's all guys i have solved one problem I've, i think it is enough i have one more problem but that is not that important okay so let us wind this module here only okay so this completes our module 2 is completed okay so we have successfully completed module 1 as well as module 2 in a short span of time very short span of time because i thought that these network analysis videos are very essential for you guys to pass because this is a very tough subject not tough but uh, some critical points are there that students are lagging they don't need they don't want to understand the basics of it so that's why in order to make you understand that basics i'm going i'm trying you to cover this that is by covering each and every step as spoon feeding right that only i am doing here spoon feeding for you guys which i should not be doing you all because you should be having these kind of skills in order to understand these kind of problems but still i am doing you all because you people are finding difficult i know that because uh, i am also facing through those problems uh, in my friend circle some of my friends are also not understanding anything that's why i took this initiative of making this channel and spreading this information and spreading my knowledge with you all okay so Thanks guys, we have completed module 2, like this video and let us see in the next module, okay, see you in the next module. That is, next I am going to cover module 5 directly, that is 2 port networks and resonance. So that's also one uh, huge module, Mo much concepts are there to cover, let us uh, complete that and wind this network analysis, okay. So that's all, like this video, thank you.